For great how-to videos, check out autohowtovideos.com. Hey guys, my name is Brian with autohowtovideos.com. I'm out here with my friend Willie B today. We're gonna fix my uh, window on my uh, $600 Honda Accord that you might have seen on $1000autos.com. Anyway, if you're looking for great auto how-to videos, be sure to check out our website. And uh, always, we got a lot more videos coming from Willie B, so hope you enjoy. Hey guys, Willie B here. Uh, today we got a 91 Honda Accord with a power window problem. Uh, you wanna come over here, I'll show you what it's doing. The uh, window goes down, tries to go down, tries to go up several times. So what we're gonna do is remove the door panel and uh, investigate, see what the problem is. All right, quick, first thing we gotta do is get the door panel off. Most door panels are have a few hidden screws. This one's got one underneath this cover piece here. Somebody put it in there real good. Use your pick or a screwdriver or something to get that bad boy out. Access your Phillips head. And then a lot of times in your do inside door handle there's a screw. Sometimes they're hidden, sometimes they're not. Move that one. Push pin that's missing. Don't worry about it. Screw down here in the lower portion. All right, and pretty much the rest of it's held on with those inner clips. If you ever seen one of these plastic pry tools, these are really awesome. They're really, really strong and they're gentle. So if you're working on a real nice car, you don't have to worry about scratching the paint or anything like that. And a lot of times, once you get all the pops out, you gotta lift up. These Hondas, sometimes these door handles, once after you unscrew them, they'll slide forward. You see these little hooks here? Slide forward, pop it out. And on one that's not broken, you will have to remove this clip here to pull the rod out, like so. And you should be able to lift up on the door panel. Like that, you'll access several electrical connections for your power window motor, uh, door locks, and such like that. Remove them. Oh, it's hard to get to. A little courtesy light. And for now, set the door panel aside. You will need to hook it back up to probably recheck our problem once we access the motor and regulator. On this one, I'm going to go ahead and remove this <coughs> door module here. And just leave it plugged in because we will need it still hooked up to operate the window. Alright, since we've got a window that's jammed in the up position, uh, I can't access any of the window bolts themselves to remove the window. So what I'm going to try and do is remove our, win or at least unbolt our window regulator and see if I can't jimmy it around and get into a position where we can remove the window and then that way we can check our regulator, the mechanical part of the regulator and see if that's the issue or if it's actually the motor. You got one over here from this part of the regulator. One right here. And let's see. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually lifting up on the regulators. You see the window kind of barely moving. This is our problem, so. Then I'm pulling down on it, trying to see if I can pull it down. That tells me 
It's, it's probably not the regulator, it's probably something in the window because I've taken the regulator totally out of the picture. So, what we need to do is try and keep fooling with it until I can get the window out of it and see if we got a, a window channel problem or something of the sort like that. Further investigating, what, what the problem is, is there's something wrong with the window itself. The regulator seems to be okay. But, unfortunately, this window is stuck in the up position like this, and there's no way to access, or no easy way to access the bolts to unbolt the window from the regulator itself. So, in this scenario, this bolt here, I'm going to use a ratcheting wrench, it's a 10 millimeter. And then on this one over here, I can't even use this because it's, it, the window is reset, or the bolt is recessed in the regulator, so I have to use an offset 10 millimeter wrench such as this. Then uh, you don't have to take the bolts all the way out because the regulator's slotted, and you should be able to, once you get them loose, just slide the regulator off of the window. And there she be. I usually fire it at the safest place to set a window, you know, on top of the car. I know that sounds crazy, but it can't get kicked or. Anything on the floor, nobody can bump into it, nobody can knock it over if you lay it up against something. What's happened on this is over time, you should every once in a while, you should lubricate these uh, window channels. I recommend like a spray silicone, it's a clear and it like dries, but it's it's pretty sweet stuff and it's ideal for window channels. But I believe what's happened is over the years, it never got lubricated and the window rolls down. And then it just kind of grabs onto this window channel and it slowly pushes it up. And as you can see, it's wrinkled the channel here at the, in the bend of the door. And I think if I can just pull this channel back out and maybe even use some adhesive in here to, keep, to hold it tight and then uh, re-lubricate this channel, I think we'll have a good repair. All right, got the uh, got the uh, the channel uh, adhesive on. Uh, I think it's going to stay in there pretty good. You know, real quick before I put the window in, uh, I like to use a silicone lubricant such as this. It goes on clear. And it actually dries, but it leaves a just like a real smooth, silky smooth kind of lubricant. So uh, just get you a straw and then apply it to your channel and don't be afraid to use too much because and of course if the car you're working on has window tint it is very critical you be very careful because you will scratch it without even trying and just kind of glide it into your channels there kind of work it by hand like that all right well as you can see we got the door panel put back together um, this, this job here, um, it requires just basic hand tools. Um, it'll probably look at spending an hour in a driveway or something. Um, but uh, about the window trim again, you know, when, it, when, when you got a problem like this where it's kind of deteriorated and it's a little deformed, something you could patch up yourself. Um, but really, Probably uh, if you if you're looking more for a long long term fix on a more quality or a newer vehicle, um, you would probably be better off just going to the manufacturer and getting the replacement parts for it and replacing this whole window channel, uh, probably on both sides. And they're probably not really expensive, um, but as you can see, it's a pretty basic job. It, it, you know, once you get the door panel off and you kind of look up in there, it looks a little scary. You got that big mechanical regulator in there, but. It's really nothing to be afraid of. It's really a pretty simple repair, and uh, good luck. <laughs>